Raphael runners on first and second. I got him right where I want him, Dolis. And that is, <laughs> man, that is difficult as a fan to watch. Okay. The guy is a human rain delay. Nobody takes more time before pit. He's styling his hair. He's wandering around the mound. And you know what it is? He has found a way to frustrate batters to no end. It's the walk-off with Scott Belford and Adam Mack. This ball is crushed. Rafael Dolis, I do wish to get into this because he is a guy who has proven that he can do it for this team. He had a blow up earlier in the season, which is why his ERA looks ugly at six point whatever it is. Right. But if you were to take that at one inning where he allowed four runs out of that, he's been unbeatable. Yep. He is a guy who I'm just going to straight up say it. He's probably not a major league pitcher, but he has found a way to become one. He is crafty beyond crafty. He is a guy who gets it done, even though it is not pretty to watch. And this is a guy that we've mentioned this before, but I'm going to really harp on it. If you are a fan of the Toronto Blue Jays, yeah, it gets a little scary when Rafael Dolis comes into the game in the eighth or ninth inning. It does. Because this is a guy that if you give a little bit of leeway, he's going to take it. Okay, you give you give Rafael Dolis some breathing room. He is sucking air, mouth open. <laughs> he's gonna go right. You give him an inch, he's gonna take every last little millimeter of that inch. Right, like he is the Grant Fuhr <laughs> of relievers. That's a little Alberta hockey reference Great for reference. the the you know. And Grant Fuhr was famous for you could score on him. Oh, sure, you could score on him. You're just always going to score one fewer goal than the Edmonton We're Oilers. Win do. every game seven six. Exactly. <laughs> so Rafael Dolis comes in there, and if he feels like he can't get a guy out, he's going to put him on. Yeah. Rafael runners on first and second. I got him right where I want him, Dolis. And that is, <laughs> man, that is difficult as a fan to watch. Okay, the guy is a human rain delay. Nobody takes more time before pit. He's styling his hair. He's wandering around the mound. And you know what it is? He has found a way to frustrate batters to no end. You know? Just when the batter thinks that they have his sinker figured out, he gets off the mound. He throws to first. He wanders around. Now two minutes has gone by, and the guy's like, I don't think I even remember what that pitch looked like. You know? It's true. No, it's it's crafty. You're right. It's crafty. It's crafty. So listen, I know there are some Dolis haters out there. Just look at the numbers. Okay. Take the emotional turmoil that he puts on you every time he takes the ball and hits the mound and, and ignore it. Because in the end, Rafael Dolis, we're very lucky to have this man in our bullpen, especially with our top three closing, our top three highest leverage bullpen guys out. He's been a godsend. And uh, despite the fact that, again, I get as nervous as anyone when you watch him trot, trot out of that bullpen, he's been great. Yeah. Minus the one blow up. <laughs> yeah, no, he's been great. I'd feel... Sorry to go back to this, but I'd feel so much better with him on the mound if our infield was playing a little more competent. Agreed. We're not helping him out. They're they're not, and he needs he needs all the help he, needs, he can get. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you just look at Rafael Dolis's stuff, right? He throws ninety three, ninety four. You know, like when he's dealing, he's he's topping out at ninety four ish. Yeah. You might see him brush ninety five, but for the most part, his average is around ninety one, ninety two for his fastball. He relies heavily on his his slider. He relies heavily on just being crafty, you know, just picking the corners. And this is another thing. You never see Rafael Dolis give in to a hitter. He would rather load the bases up and pitch to someone he feels comfortable against than 
go after someone and challenge someone that he thinks could hit his stuff. Yeah. It's impressive to have that kind of confidence mm -hmm. in your stuff once you get to a guy you know you can get. Yeah. It's just not fun to watch for fans. <laughs> Especially at the end of a, a game against, let's say, the Red Sox like Wednesday, right? Where you're like, oh man, we need this win. Mm -hmm. And it's 4-2. And then of course he gives up a run because he's going to take every inch he can. You know, it's 4-3. And then you're just like, ah! <laughs>